Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube video about Tom Horn Jr., the legendary Old West lawman, scout, and hired gunman. Born in 1860, Horn's life and career spanned some of the most iconic and tumultuous years of the American West, from the cowboy era to the Indian Wars to the violent conflicts between cattle ranchers and sheep herders. In this video, we will explore the many facets of Horn's story, from his early life and career to his involvement in the Wyoming Range War and the Geronimo Campaign, to his controversial trial and execution for the murder of a 14-year-old boy. Along the way, we will examine the myths and realities of the Old West, and the ways in which Horn's story reflects both the romanticism and the brutality of that era. So sit back, grab a cowboy hat if you have one, and let's explore the fascinating story of Tom Horn Jr. Tom Horn Jr. was born in 1860 in northeastern Missouri. His parents were farmers, and Horn grew up in a rural environment. As a young man, he became interested in the cowboy life and moved west to work as a cowboy and a scout for the U.S. Army. Horn's skills as a marksman and a tracker made him an effective scout, and he served in several campaigns against Native American tribes. He also worked briefly as a deputy sheriff in the Arizona Territory before joining the Pinkerton Detective Agency in 1890. As a Pinkerton detective, Horn worked on several high-profile cases, including the famous Wilcox train robbery in Wyoming. However, his reputation as a hired gun began to develop during this time, as he was known for his willingness to use violence to accomplish his goals. In 1892, Horn left the Pinkerton Agency and became a range detective for cattle baron John C. Coble in Wyoming. It was during this time that Horn became involved in the Wyoming Range War, a conflict between cattle ranchers and sheep herders over grazing rights in the area. Horn was hired by the cattle barons to intimidate and kill the sheep herders, and he was suspected of committing several murders during this time. Despite his controversial reputation, Horn continued to work as a hired gun and scout in the years that followed. In 1894, he was hired by the U.S. government to track down and capture the Apache warrior Geronimo, which he claimed to have done. However, his claim has been disputed by historians. Overall, Horn's early life and career were defined by his fascination with the cowboy lifestyle and his willingness to use violence to achieve his goals. His reputation as a hired gun and his involvement in the Wyoming Range War set the stage for the controversies and conflicts that would follow him throughout his life. The Wyoming Range War was a conflict that took place in the late 1880s between cattle ranchers and sheep herders in Wyoming. The conflict arose due to the fact that the two groups used different grazing methods, with the cattle barons preferring open-range grazing while the sheep herders used fenced-in areas. Tom Horn Jr. became involved in the Range War when he was hired by cattle baron John C. Coble as a range detective. His job was to intimidate and kill sheep herders who were encroaching on the cattle rancher's grazing land. Horn quickly gained a reputation as a ruthless killer during this time. He was suspected of committing several murders, including the shooting of a sheep herder named Matt Rash in 1894. Although Horn was never convicted of any of these crimes, his reputation as a hired gun was firmly established. The conflict came to a head in 1892, when a group of heavily armed cattle ranchers, including Horn, attacked a flock of sheep owned by sheep herder Ella Watson and her partner James Averill. The two were brutally murdered, and their deaths became known as the Spring Creek Raid. Horn was suspected of playing a key role in the murders, but he was never charged. However, his involvement in the Range War had a lasting impact on his legacy as he became known as a cold-blooded killer who was willing to do whatever it took to protect the interests of the cattle barons. In 1894, Tom Horn Jr. was hired by the U.S. government to track down and capture the Apache warrior Geronimo, who had been leading raids and causing trouble along the Mexican border. Horn claimed to have tracked Geronimo and his small band of followers to a remote canyon in Mexico. There, he supposedly used his skills as a scout to sneak up on the Apache and convince them to surrender. However, Horn's claim to have captured Geronimo has been disputed by historians. Some have pointed out that Horn was known to exaggerate his accomplishments, and that his account of the Geronimo campaign may have been embellished. Regardless of whether or not Horn actually captured Geronimo, his involvement in the campaign helped to further solidify his reputation as a skilled tracker and scout. It also marked a turning point in Horn's career, 
as he began to work more closely with the U.S. government and became less of a hired gun for private interests. One of the most controversial episodes in Tom Horn Jr.'s life was his involvement in the Nickel murder trial, which took place in Wyoming in 1901. Willie Nickel was a young boy who had been murdered while riding his horse near his family's ranch. The crime was particularly gruesome, with Nickel's body being found with multiple gunshot wounds and evidence of torture. Horn was hired by the prosecutors to help build a case against Jim and Kells Nickel, two local ranchers who were suspected of being involved in the murder. Horn claimed to have obtained a confession from Jim Nickel while posing as a cattle buyer, and this confession was used as evidence against the Nickel brothers during the trial. However, Horn's testimony and the confession he claimed to have obtained were both highly controversial. The defense argued that the confession had been obtained through coercion and that Horn had a history of using violent and unethical tactics to achieve his goals. Despite these objections, the Nickel brothers were convicted and sentenced to hang. However, the controversy surrounding the trial continued to simmer, and many people began to question Horn's role in the case. In 1902, Horn himself was put on trial for the murder of Willie Nickel, with the prosecution arguing that he had actually committed the crime and framed the Nickel brothers to cover it up. However, the trial ended in a hung jury, and Horn was never convicted of the murder. The Nickel murder trial marked a turning point in Horn's life, as it led to widespread criticism and scrutiny of his actions. It also contributed to his eventual downfall, as his reputation as a ruthless killer became more and more widely known. Tom Horn Jr.'s legacy is one of controversy and legend. On one hand, he is often remembered as a skilled tracker and scout who played a role in some of the most important events of the American West. On the other hand, his reputation as a hired gun and killer has tarnished his legacy and made him a divisive figure. Horn's involvement in the Range War and the Nickel murder trial, as well as his alleged role in other murders, has led some people to view him as a cold-blooded killer who was willing to do whatever it took to achieve his goals. Others argue that Horn was simply a product of his times, and that his actions were in line with the violent and chaotic nature of the American West during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in Tom Horn Jr.'s life and legacy. Books, documentaries, and even feature films have been produced about his life, with some seeking to rehabilitate his reputation and others highlighting his dark side. Regardless of one's opinion of Tom Horn Jr., there is no doubt that he remains one of the most intriguing and controversial figures in American history. His legacy is likely to continue to be debated and discussed for many years to come. In conclusion, Tom Horn Jr. was a complex and controversial figure whose life was marked by violence and intrigue. He played a role in some of the most important events of the American West, including the Wyoming Range War and the Geronimo Campaign, but his reputation as a hired gun and killer has overshadowed his accomplishments. Horn's involvement in the Nickel murder trial, in particular, has contributed to his divisive legacy. While some people view him as a skilled tracker and scout who helped to bring justice to a young victim, others see him as a ruthless killer who was willing to do whatever it took to achieve his goals. Regardless of one's opinion of Tom Horn Jr., there is no denying that his life and legacy continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. From books and documentaries to feature films and other media, his story remains an enduring part of American history and folklore. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content related to Tom Horn Jr. and the American Old West, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. By doing so, You'll be notified whenever we upload new videos and will help support our efforts to bring you high quality content on this fascinating era of American history. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.